Hello, hello. My name is Valorance. Welcome to the Speedrunner's Guide to Typing. The point of this guide is simple. To get you 200 words per minute, on English 200, on monkey type, as fast as possible. Whether you're learning an alternative keyboard layout, or you're getting to 100 for the first time, this guide is for you. To prove to you that this method actually works, I'll be relearning typing alongside you. If you're already semi-familiar with typing, the method I'm going to use is learning a new keyboard layout. I'm going to be learning a layout called Strand, and it is a slightly modified layout created by the one and only Oxy. It trades the BL bigram for a better M position. If you're a new typist, don't worry. It's a completely different topic and it's not related to this video. That being said, let's get straight into it. First, I want to go over some terminology so we're on the same page. English 200 refers to the 200 most common words in English. Monkey Type is an extremely popular typing website used by many. The primary metric to a typist skill is their 60 second personal best. Now, of course, this isn't fully representative of actual typing. You actually miss out a lot on what typing really is, but it is nonetheless difficult. And this is evidenced by looking at this distribution graph. You can see that the vast majority of users fall between 60 to 70 words per minute. That being said, that's enough rambling. Let's just get into it. As a side note, I'll be showing my own improvement clips in this video, and the day number will be in the bottom right. This video will include chapters below. Each of these chapters represents a specific skill set you should learn before moving on to the next section. I'll give suggestions when to move to the next skill set based on words per minute goals. For the first couple, there really isn't one for this, and you should work on them whenever you can. I'll get more into details when we get there. Can you name every key on your keyboard? Left to right, top to bottom. Q W E R T Y U I O P A S D F G H J K L semicolon Z X C V B N M comma period. I think it was forward slash. Yeah. If you're able to type without looking at your keyboard, or you can type more than about 35 words per minute, go ahead and move to the next section. However, if you're below 30 words per minute or can't touch type slash type without looking at your keyboard, stick around. If you've ever played a sport before, or played an instrument, you've probably heard of a term called muscle memory. This is the ability for you to perform a task without having to mentally think about it. For an everyday example, that may be writing, or even picking up a glass of water to drink. When it comes to fast typing, you have to be able to develop this skill as well. Now, to learn muscle memory, most schools utilize something called FJFJ -FJ typing practice. Most of you are probably familiar with this, and most of you were probably confused when you were learning typing this way. It isn't obvious what it teaches you, especially because you're not typing words, you're just typing random letters. But the whole point is to build muscle memory. That's why it's often stressed to put your fingers in the right position and use the correct finger to press each of the keys, rather than simply how fast you can find each key. Now, unfortunately, this method is rather flawed. I'll explain why in a later section, but it just isn't ideal. The method we will be using is a little bit different. But before we get into that, this is where I explain how I will be relearning typing alongside you. Because I can already type at 176 words per minute, there is no real reason for me to try and redo this as I am already past all of these skills. But what if I wasn't? How would I do that? Well, the very first skill is muscle memory, and everything else just builds upon this. So how do I break muscle memory? Well. It's simple. If I were to want to press the key E, I already know that it's my middle finger, my left hand middle finger, just reach up, press that key, that is E. But what do you think happens if I swap that key for another letter? That's right, my finger would no longer know where it is. And if I try to use the muscle memory I already have, it will simply press the wrong keys. So the easiest way to reset my typing ability is simply by swapping around all the keys. As you may have heard in the earlier section, I'm doing this by learning an alternative keyboard layout. I'm not here to explain what these are, as that's not the point of this video. That will actually hopefully be my next video, but it is rather complicated. And the short summary is QWERTY, which is the name of the arrangement of keys on most keyboards, looks like this, is fundamentally flawed because it was designed for typewriters. In the modern era, we don't face the same problems as typewriters, so it makes typing inefficient. I'm telling you this because the keys arranged on my keyboard have a specific purpose, even if it looks a bit strange. That being said, let's actually begin the learning. Now, you may recall that I said if you are below 20 words per minute, can't touch type, you should memorize every key on your keyboard. Well, we'll get to that in a minute, but first, we need to get you familiar with your keyboard through using as many of your fingers as possible. 
if you look at your keyboard to type, this is where we're gonna break that habit. The way we're gonna break this bad habit is relatively simple. I'm gonna be using monkey type for pretty much all the practice to try and avoid confusion and having to use multiple sites. So head over to monkeytype.com and first, okay, let me set this back to what it normally would be. So you can press escape. If you don't have escape here on your keyboard, press this little globe icon that says English. Now switch to English 450K. These will provide you with a bunch of English words that honestly nobody has ever seen before. This may kind of feel like FJ, FJ typing practice where you're just pressing random letters because you've never seen these words before. But there is actually a reason we're doing this. And that's because English have a specific way the words are designed. For English, a lot of the letters have specific combinations that are very common. For most words, this is a consonant and a vowel. A vowel is A-E-I-O-U, and a consonant is any letter that is not that. And you can see a lot of those right in this text. C-O, T-A, L-I. Now, of course, there are other combos such as P-L, which is two consonants. And the most common for two vowels, I believe, is O-U. By typing words, even if there are words you've never seen before and will never ever see, you are still training your fingers to be prepared for these common combinations. So when you move into English 200, you'll already have the muscle memory for typing a lot of these very quickly because you're used to typing them together. But that's, that's for a little bit later. What we're gonna do now is try to type these words by looking at the screen. So I'll set this to QWERTY. So you can press escape type in key map. Usually this is set to off. So what you want to do is turn this on to next. Then you're going to type key map again. Oops. Key map again. You're going to go into layout. If you're using a different layout, go ahead and select that layout. If you're just using the standard QWERTY, go ahead and click QWERTY. Now you'll get a picture of your keyboard on the bottom of your screen. I want you to type, so switch, switch the word count to 10. Let's just start with 10 first. I want you to type these 10 words only looking at that key map. The main point of this is to stop you from making the association of trying to look at your keyboard to type. This will be very difficult. Whether you're learning a new keyboard layout or you're just trying to break the bad habit of looking, this is very difficult. And Please understand that this takes the longest. I hate tutorials which just skipped past these because they're just the fundamentals and there's not much to talk about them, but it is really important to build these good fundamentals and they are very, very difficult. You can see in my own improvement graph that this first section, I was around 10 words per minute for, for pretty much an entire three days. And that's just because of me trying to build this muscle memory. It is extremely difficult, but just as you can look on my graph, you can see that over the next only two or so days, I nearly doubled and tripled my speed. And that's just how it is. The fundamentals are difficult, but once you've mastered them, everything else is easy. So don't feel bad if this feels like it's taking forever, you're not making progress. It is difficult, it is hard. And in the background, you can see my own attempt of trying to do this. This took a really long time, but that's kind of what I expected. When you're looking at a keyboard you've never seen before, all the keys are different, and you gotta figure all that together out. I, I forgot to mention I'm using an ortholinear keyboard instead of the standard one. It, it just overall took a lot of time, but it is what I was kind of expecting. Unfortunately, this is only part one of this memorization section. Once you've done that a few times and you've gotten a pretty good feeling for your keyboard, we can now move on to by far the hardest, most annoying, and time-consuming section. Full memorization. Remember when I said you should be able to name every key on your keyboard? Well, now you have to. This is by far the most challenging and the hardest portion of learning to type. You have to build an association for where each letter is on top of where each key is. The way to do this is to memorize the whole layout, be able to name every single letter, know where it is, and then with your muscle memory of where each key is, and press that letter. Now we're removing the visual element to it. For most people, I expect them to need between one to two days just to memorize the layout, and then quite a bit further to be able to recall where it is and then press each key. For me, since I've done this, I think four times now, 
I was able to do this in the span of two hours. That run that you saw earlier was me visually and getting a feeling for it, and then right after I switched directly into doing this. And my speed went from 10 words per minute all the way down to like three. This is a very difficult skill, especially if you're a beginner who spend a lot of time on the visual methods. This can make your improvement feel like you hit a brick wall or even that you're getting worse. But when you're up to 100 words per minute, there is no way you can look and scan for each key. You will just not be fast enough. I do want to know, it is possible to learn muscle memory by doing it visually using the first method I provided, but it will take a lot longer and I'd assume it take maybe four or five or maybe even a month. Meanwhile, this method of actively recalling where it is can get you there in a week. I actually made a video on this a couple months ago. It's right here. Don't watch, it's kind of bad. But I was able to get to 100 words per minute in under 7 days. For full transparency though, unless you've done layout swapping before or you practice for a ridiculous amount of time, it's not likely you'll be able to get to 107 days. I'm not saying this as like an egotistical thing, it's just that this is very difficult. It relies on your memory, it relies on how fast you can develop muscle memory, and it just overall, it's, it's difficult. But that being said, that is basically the memorization section. Now we can move onto the speed part. Welcome to chording. If you've ever played an instrument before, you probably know what chords are. They're a set of notes played together. In typing, these notes would be letters. Now, of course, you can't just drop your fingers on the keys and expect the correct word to form. So there's an order to them. But I really want you to think about it as if you were pressing them together, because that's the whole point of chording. Instead of recognizing a word and typing it letter by letter, you want to type the word as the whole word. It's a little difficult to get your head around, but here, let me show an example. Okay, so, very simple. The word we have is which. Instead of typing it with W, H, I, C, H, what we're instead going to do is first get the mental picture of which in our head. You got that, got all the letters, good. Now, put your fingers on all of the keys with the letters. So, for a visual example, here's my key map. So, this is where it is on QWERTY. So I got my fingers in position, and now in your head, go through the sequence of fingers you have to do in order to type the word. So mine would be right index, left index, right pinky, right index up to C, then left index, and then type it. That's the whole idea. And that's how you type extremely fast. Now the technique for quotes is pretty much the same, but there is a small difference that I want to show you. Let's go with definitely. This is a really long word that realistically most people will not be able to memorize fully. So instead, we're going to split this into segments that we're able to remember easily. So for this, for the cording, what I would do instead of trying to chord the whole word, I'll chord it in segments. So we're going to split this into D E F I N I T I T E L Y. So you can do this in whatever way you feel most comfortable in, but the idea is instead of memorizing the whole word, you split it into chunks. And there you go. And that's pretty much it for the fundamentals. Using these three basic skills, well, mostly two, touch typing and cording, you have absolutely more than enough skill to get to 100 words per minute and even beyond. When you're past about the 50 words per minute range, it is about time to start working on cording. And by day seven, I was already working on cording. So here is my footage. I don't know how obvious it is on footage, but you can very clearly see that after just a day of practice courting, I am significantly faster at typing. Words like same, so, off, who, have, and good, more, all the mostly four letter words, I'm already typing them way past 100 because of courting. And I'm confident that at this point, both I and you can get to 100 words per minute without a problem. Just by working on courting, making sure your accuracy is still good, Reminding yourself of your muscle memory for certain keys if you need to, you can get to 100 without a doubt. That's good and all, 
but what if we were stuck right on that last 5%? It's time to reveal the secret. Now, to be more technical, this secret technically falls under the courting category, but it isn't directly related, so I wanted to put it in a separate section. Have you ever felt like you were right on the grasp of obtaining that 100? You're so close, but you just can't seem to make that last 5%. You go to get help, and everybody just says, work on accuracy. And, well, if your accuracy is below about 96%, then the people who say that aren't really wrong. But if you're above that, there is something else. One of the biggest erroneous tips I see for beginner typists is to quote, work on accuracy. And well, this is a good habit, but there is also a lot of cases where you see a lot of typists having good accuracy, but they're just not able to beat 100, or at least very slowly. And the reason is because if you look at their consistency, it's always really high. Now, technically speaking, this is good. This means you're typing every word at a similar pace. But if you really think about it, it's not actually that good. If you have an extremely high consistency, that means you're typing every word at the same pace. And obviously, some words are maybe not as easy to type as fast. Take the word like it versus program. Program is a way longer word, so you'd expect it to be typed faster. If you type it and program at the same speed, you're losing speed on the it part. This may sound a little unrelated, but in reality, when it comes to word speed, all that is is cording. How fast you can cord a given word. As for what consistency value you need to do this, I find that above 80% is a almost for sure. You should definitely work on that. And when it comes to higher speeds, this is no longer called cording. This is what most people refer to as burst speed. So that's where that terminology comes from. And well, that's pretty much it. Outside of a few other small details, such as working on 120 seconds to improve your endurance, there really isn't much else to improve upon. And unfortunately, the only thing left to do is to just practice. There is no way around this, unfortunately. That being said, the only thing left is to watch my own run. Well, I have two on screen. One of them is my 15 second 100 words per minute, where I have a hand cam. And the other one is my 60 seconds, the, the last 15 seconds at least. I will put up my reaction at the very end. Okay, so this is a little bit crazy. Um, I, 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 I have a screenshot, I think, here. Um, where I got around 95 or so words per minute, 98, 98, sorry, on 100 words. And I was like, I could probably get to 100 on um, right now, but I wasn't exactly sure. Um, I did get to 100 in seven days before in this video. It's kind of bad, so I'm sorry about it, but I... Yesterday, I decided to, no, the day before, I decided to switch one of my keys um, on my keyboard. Here's the layout, and here's a new one. I just switched it like that. And usually, when you do that, you, like, lose a ton of speed. And I was feeling that. Like, my words per minute, the graph here, I'll pull it up here. I'm trying not to show it on here because reflection or whatever. But it, it, it did tank. And I was like, okay, I'm going to just make the video right there. I got to 100 words per minute on 15 seconds, and that's good enough. But I also felt a little bit bad that I couldn't like get all the way. But um, apparently, I can, and it took me just two days. So if we subtract the two days, three days, sorry. If you subtract the two days it took for me to relearn the layout, then uh, I guess there you go. 100 words per minute.